this is Jason with inflatableboarder.com and today we're gonna to be reviewing the brand new 2018 Jimmy Sticks Mutt. Now this board is a good all around board. It's very affordable. It measures 10.4 by 34 by 5.9 inches. The board weighs in at 22 pounds and it's capable of supporting up to 260 pounds of weight. The top deck of the board is covered by a two piece uh, ribbed uh, traction pad provides good grip but is very comfortable on the feet. It has a comfortable brushed surface. Midboard is a neoprene covered carrying handle. At the nose of the board is a bungee cord storage area, uh, which is a great place to store your dry bag, uh, water bottle, your Crocs, or other accessories when you're out on the water. The company used uh, kind of a, a plastic uh, folded over fabric to secure the uh, bungee cord uh, at the nose of the board. Most other boards come with a metal D-ring, which we actually prefer as it makes it a little bit easier if you need to uh, attach an additional accessory uh, or use it as a tie-on point for, say, a cooler. Uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult uh, with this design as opposed to a, a, a standard metal D-ring. Tail of the board is another D-ring for attaching the included sub-leash as well as a high-quality Hockey Roberts style air valve. On the underside of the board is a single large removable fin. This fin features the company's brand new 2018 click and go functionality. This is a brand new proprietary fin attachment system. It's completely toolless and it's brilliant. Uh, all you do to install your fin is simply open up the included locking clip, drop it into the channel, slide it into place, and close the locking mechanism. And that's all there is to it. No tools required, super quick, super simple, and very, very secure. Now let's quickly talk about the included accessories. The board comes with a basic SUP backpack. Uh, it's basic, but it's a nice bag. Uh, it does what it needs to do. Uh, on the outside of the bag are a couple compression straps. We don't particularly like the design uh, of these compression straps in that they're attached to the lid um, of the pack on the other side of the zipper, which means that once you have the straps uh, cinched up, in order to open the bag, you actually have to completely undo the straps. And then to, to use them again, you have to feed the straps through and completely uh, redo the straps. It's, it's inconvenient. Um, a better design would be to attach these on the opposite side, on the, the closer side of the zipper, so you could still open and close the bag without having to completely undo these straps, or to simply use a plastic locking uh, clip. That would be another uh, more convenient alternative to this design. On the outside of the bag, it's a pretty plain Jane bag. There's no exterior uh, storage compartments or anything like that. As you can see, the bottom of the bag is, is very simple. There's no uh, rubber reinforcement or anything like that. So, you know, you'll definitely want to exercise some care when dealing with this bag. You don't want to be dragging this along uh, the, the concrete or anything like that because it will tear. Uh, there is a uh, single metal grommet on the underside of the bag uh, to allow the uh, interior of the bag to drain. Uh, there are no exterior grab handles on the sides of the bag or on the top of the bag, which is a downside. That's something that we would love to see added in the future. There is a carrying handle, a grab handle on the back of the bag. There are two lightly padded, uh, fully adjustable shoulder straps on the back of the bag, as well as an adjustable sternum strap and a non-padded nylon webbed waist belt for additional stabilization when the bag is on your back. This bag, as I mentioned, pretty plain. There's no additional padding on the back of the bag or anything like that, like you see with a lot of other bags. So as a result, this bag isn't the most comfortable to carry around, but it is a, uh, it is a SUP backpack that does what it needs to do. It'll help you uh, get your board from point A to point B and helps to keep all of uh, your accessories together. The bag opens up with two zippers. As you can see, one side opens up more than the other, but it's still an ample opening to give you access to the inside of the bag. Uh, once inside, as you can see, there's no additional uh, storage pockets or anything on the inside of the bag, and there, there are no additional compression straps. Included with the Mutt is this high visibility orange plastic canister. This is your repair kit. Included with the repair kit is a valve wrench, a tube of glue with instructions, as well as two oversized uh, PVC patches uh, should the need arise to perform a repair on your board. The board also comes with a coiled SUP leash. This is a basic SUP leash with a comfortable neoprene padded uh, ankle cuff. The ankle cuff has a secure Velcro closure and there's also a hidden key storage pocket integrated right into the cuff, 
which is great for stashing your key uh, when you're out on the water. This leash features dual swivels on both ends to prevent tangles, and it has a very durable coiled cord. This board comes with a Jimmy Sticks dual action sup pump. It features a convenient integrated pressure gauge. Uh, it's integrated right into the, the pump's handle. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a dual action pump. So basically what you wanna do is flip it over to setting number two when you initially begin to inflate your board. That will allow you to quickly add um, air to your deflated board. When things become more difficult, just flip the lever to setting number one, and that will give you the power necessary to finish adding the air to your board all the way up to the recommended pressure of 15 PSI. Of course, the pump also comes with this flexible inflation hose. Last but not least is the included paddle. This is a very, very nice paddle. It features a brand new design for 2018 that is exclusive to Jimmy Sticks boards. This particular paddle has an aluminum shaft. Uh, it has a, uh, a durable nylon blade that's branded with the Jimmy Sticks logo on one side. This is an adjustable travel paddle, and while it does have three uh, independent pieces, the top part of the shaft does not come out. To assemble the paddle, all you need to do is simply depress the two locking pins, line them up, and slide them into place. That's all there is to it. The top of this paddle has an ingenious locking mechanism. You simply open it, slide the paddle to the desired height, and by the way, it is marked for your convenience, and then lock it closed. Once it's closed, it's really, really secure. And also, the sides of the uppermost part of the shaft have a flat, uh, kind of a flat shaved design, which fits in perfectly with the shape of the inside of the middle piece of the shaft, which means that there's absolutely no potential for twisting. This is a brilliant design. This is one of the nicest design paddles that we've seen included with any inflatable paddleboard package. We absolutely love the paddles uh, that Jimmy Sticks has come out with for 2018. Now let's briefly talk about performance. The company used their dual layer stringer construction for this board, which gives it good rigidity. The board feels very stiff when it's on the water under your feet. Uh, the board's nice and stable. The nice tapered nose design uh, makes it easy to cut through wind and chop, a lot better than uh, the rounded nose all around boards that you see on the market. Tracking actually on this board is quite good. Uh, considering the board only has one fin, but that large single fin uh, really gives the board decent tracking ability. Overall, it's just a really fun all around board. Uh, it's good for uh, family fun, good for paddling around your dogs, small children. Uh, it's a great starter board. It's a great board for beginners due to the 34 inch width. As I mentioned, it's very stable and it can be used for a variety of paddling activities. Overall, the Jimmy Six Mutt is a solid option if you're looking for a versatile, all around durable board that comes with a really nice bundle of SUP accessories. The board also is backed by a one year manufacturing warranty uh, should you have any issues with manufacturing defects. So that does it for our review of the 2018 Jimmy Sticks Mutt. If you've got any questions, just post them in the comments area below. We'll be sure to get all of your questions answered. Also, if you'd like to check the current price of this board or to read additional customer reviews, visit inflatableboarder.com slash mutt. Again, that link is www.inflatableboarder.com slash mutt, or you can simply click the link in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video review, please give it a like by clicking the like button below. And if you haven't already done so, we invite you to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that does it for today. Happy paddling.